Alrighty, turn 206, June 30th, 42. Let's see what happens. Alright, auto flip the dot base. We should start flipping all those down there. Creeping more mines. Oh, we've got to move him out, out of there and see how much damage he, he took. Need to remember to do it this turn in case he's heavily damaged. And really just to move him because, uh, you know, they're sitting there. Really? Barney again? Didn't he just bomb bombard last turn? Or either you get some, uh, either you get some, uh, Aircraft there, or get that uh, airhead squittered the hell out of there. Note for future self next time I do this, bring an air group like Vows with me on a ship. I can just unload right, right onto the airfield. Or maybe not with the invasion force, but with the, uh, you know, coming right uh, behind it. All right, come on, Nate. We got some decent pilots in this thing. We'll see if they're the ones actually doing, doing the fighting. some pilots get, attempting to make that uh, experience roll against his three or four. Yeah, I don't think either side lost any. At least not an air to air. Alright, let's get some more hurricanes. Trailing, put away, trailing, trailing smoke. That one left the dough for the deck. I mean, no, 28,000 feet. Damn some more aircraft. That's a long haul from here. All right, afternoon airstrikes. Go ahead and finish up the naval phase, then we'll move into land moving combat. 
Come on, get out of there. Here's the damage. Get away now. Alrighty. Just a little bit of damage. This guy can't have much ammo left. Something just sunk. And probably not one of ours. Alrighty, look at that mess of troops. The biggest threat is that that Dutch battalion right there. to zero. Up, oh, we got one to two. We lost 92 men. He lost 800. We got a little bit of fatigue on that on that division, I think. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and expand some bases, run through production. When that's done, we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some information, come back and go over another brief after action report. Another fairly slow turn in the war. Alrighty, another slow day in the war. Um, Score-wise, we went up 18 points. Rob went up 5. In the air, he lost 4. We lost 4. Let's see. We lost 2 nates, 1 air-to-air, -air, 1 ops. He lost 2 P40 AVGs air-to-air. -air. Damn, those zero. I mean, those, those nates did a good job. We lost a Sally to ops and a Babs to ops and a Mavis to ops. Well, that's 5. I don't know how we said we got 4. And he lost a PBY4 and, and the P40 to Ops. So it says we lost five. Let's take a look. Two pilots killed, one wounded, one missing. Damn! Got a lot of pilots that's gone. All right, incoming air groups, three days to the ones on the Ryuho. So that'll be our incoming ships here. Three days to Ryuho, 37 to the to, to the Kmon. Incoming ground units, eight days. Let's see. Engines and aircraft. 10 HA-34s, two Nels, two Zeros, one Topsy. Normal, normal. And production devices. 50 heavy infantry, 12 motorized supports, five support. Some heavy machine gunners, sound detectors, a T gun, engineers, motorized squad, and AV. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring up Combat Reporter. We'll take a look there. All right. Let's see. Downs off of New Zealand again. Those subs. Oh, that's, our sub found those APDs. Our APDs found us. They did a little more damage to us. We need to get that guy out of there. So, Rabaha, we cleared 19 more mines. We did one mine sweep, so I'm assuming the mines are gone now. 
At Naughty, he bombarded again. He bombarded twice with that same destroyer, so I'm not sure. He has to be, like, out of, out of ammo. We attacked that Malang. Malang. Um, we got one to two odds and took out the fort. Our division is a little tired, so we did, didn't do too well. He has decent, decent terrain. We lost 92 men. He lost 800, so definitely in our advantage. Amphibious, uh, the Allies landed at Kendavu Island. Probably those, probably the same same Marines he's been island hopping around here with. Not a whole lot going on here. See, we uh, we swept Banduing, but we we shot down a hurricane. Although uh, we didn't get air air credit, but it did go down for ops. Then we bombed it with our with our uh, our sallies. We swept Changsha. It didn't show us killing any. Uh, P40 AVGers, but apparently we we killed two. Signal intelligence. See, I thought my nades would do a decent job because they're all like in in the most of the pilots are up in the seventies experience. So this early in the war, nades can still do a decent job. You just got to be careful you don't put them up against any like you know second generation fighters. Hey. Uh, to be Helen advanced advanced a month up to 143, so we're doing good there. A bunch of my air groups on the on my carriers resized. I'm not really sure why. I need to probably have to go back and resize them again. I don't like them to be super e e even. I prefer a little being a little fighter he heavy. Plus, I don't like having 20 like, like 25 torpedo bombers. And, but you only carry only carry forty five torpedoes, so that's one strike of torpedoes, and then maybe a partial strike. So I'll probably wiggle that down to like twenty one or something, just so I can get two full strikes. And then I'll take those and 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 in, increase the fighters with with them. Replacements, more nails back in the pool. Repair the battleship at Nagasaki. We expanded the airfield at Missouri and 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 at Buna, so we got two airfields built up, and we got that uh, that one. Those Peach arrived at Hiroshima, and our unit of Sonya's arrived at Tunghua. So that's it for combat reporter. Zoom on over here. Let's see. One of these is one of these has to be loading, one's probably unloading. Down here, let's take a look. Yeah, they're not really super tired. But we'll see. We'll, we'll give them a day off and see what happens. Looks like all the mines here, so our Baja are gone. DEI is pretty much just all exporting now. Make it there. These guys should be full. Yep. Head on back and unload. Let's see here. No damage. All right. There's that damaged ships. We're gonna head to truck. Five days we'll be there. Alrighty. Everything else is looking good. Up, oh, up, oh, almost forgot again, huh? How what's this guy looking like? Yeah, let's send him back back to truck. It's only minor damage. That's eleven minor damage, but we can get that repaired in a couple days of truck. Get him out of there. Just to be safe. All right, our picket line, overcast, extreme overcast, partial clouds, clear sky. Not a whole lot going on. Okay, we still got another forty-nine 
50, 59, almost 60,000 resources to drop off. That's another big load here, most, mostly oil though. Do the mouse over, you got, what's it? 138,000 oil, 13,000 resources. So that's 72,000 resources coming up, plus whatever we got up here at, at, at Amanato. Oh, there's another 20, 26, 27 maybe. Should be another positive day in resources for us. Up here in China, let's check these guys out. All right, how we doing here? 30... 30, 30. All right. They will cross the river. Let's go ahead and tell these guys to attack. A little bit of luck. I'll get back on there. Get that out of there. A little bit of luck. These guys will come over and do a shock attack, and these guys will join them with, with a regular attack. And a little bit of luck, we'll, and we'll kick this core out, out of here. And he's still not retreating at all. Interesting. How are we doing up north here? Our troops are moving fine. We're not here yet to crush that guy yet. All right, everything else is going fine, I believe. But if you enjoyed watching the turn unfold with me, please go ahead and click on that like button. If you're following the campaign along but you have not subscribed, I would appreciate your subscription as well. And until the next turn comes in, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.